Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, it's all about the shutdown. We have some information from the Defense Civilian Personnel Advisory Service to pass on. Plus, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month as well as Cybersecurity Awareness Month. We have some tips to keep you safe online. These stories and more, but without a fiscal year 2014 budget and the approaching debt limit ceiling coming, tens of thousands of DOD employees and non-DOD government employees anxiously await the outcome. The Defense Civilian Personnel Advisory Service released these guidelines this week. Employees originally exempt from the furlough, for example, those at DFMWR are receiving regular pay and allowances with normal rules applying for taking leave and holiday hours. Workers that were accepted from the furlough will receive their regular pay, including for the week of October 1st through the 5th. Employees recalled on October 6th, those include Garrison employees like myself, will receive pay for the hours performing shutdown duty on October 1st. However, until there's a budget agreement, these workers won't be paid for that first week of October. For more information, at least for DOD employees, the Civilian Personnel Advisory Service website is located at www.cpms.osd.mil. Elsewhere, October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Here's a message from Brigadier General Jason Evans, the Deputy Commanding General at U.S. Army Installation Command. There's a topic we need to discuss as an Army community. That is domestic violence. It's everyone's responsibility to create a climate of respect within the Army. Join MCOM in ending domestic violence. Recognize it, prevent it, and fix it. Finally, today we have one more National Recognition Month for the month of October to cover, and it's a natural one for the Fort Meade community. It's Cybersecurity Awareness Month. While cybersecurity would seem to come naturally to the Fort Meade community, the Department of Homeland Security offers this humorous look at staying safe online. This is Billy. Billy is a polite young man who always says please and thank you, studies hard, and treats others with respect. On the sports field and in the home, Billy understands the importance of doing the right thing. But Billy forgot something. He forgot to update the security software OS and web browser on his laptop, compromising his computer and making himself vulnerable to cyber criminals. That's not giving it the old college try, Billy. Now consider the case of Jenny. Jenny loves the internet. She regularly broadcasts the minutia of her daily life and she shares detailed personal data about herself and her friends. And she doesn't hesitate to add anyone who tries to friend her. Do you think that makes Jenny popular? Nothing like being Miss Popularity. Yeah. And then there's Betty. Betty is an up-and-comer at a big downtown business firm. You can see by the orderly arrangement of her desk and her neat appearance that Betty is a hard worker who enjoys her job. What a shame, then, that Betty's attention to detail doesn't extend to safeguarding her company's corporate data. Last week, Betty opened a strange email. Now a remote access spam bot has targeted her company's servers with a denial of service attack. That'll cost the company millions. It's out on the street for you, Betty. What do Billy, Jenny, and Betty need to learn about using the Internet securely and safely? Why, it's a simple question of thoughtfulness. Why should I worry about being thoughtful? What will it get me? In this world, it's every man for himself. Consider this. It only takes one lapse of security to grant hackers access to a network full of sensitive information. Maybe it's the private records of everyone at your school. Maybe it's a company's intellectual property. It could even be a matter of national security. Everybody tells me to be more thoughtful. Well, I'd like to be more thoughtful. If I only knew what it meant. Good question. Here are some simple things you can do to be a more thoughtful and safe digital citizen. So don't be a Billy, a Jenny, or a Betty. Follow these simple steps to ensure your online safety and the security of us all. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.